Alright guys, so in this video what I'm going to do is talk about the Dymal 1 inch LCD screen that you can integrate with your Arduino set. I bought it purposely just to, to play around with, bought it off Amazon for around about $10 um, and it was quite simple to set up, however there wasn't really anywhere sent in a central location to go through that step by step. So I thought I'd create a video from scratch on how to set it up uh, and obviously just go for a quick demonstration. So. I have in front of me the um, LCD screen. Um, I've just plugged it into the breadboard itself. And I have uh, four male to male jumper cables. So, to set this up, uh, I've placed it on the actual board itself. Uh, and just plugging it in from the top. So, I'm going to use in a nice Nice fancy row. I'm going to plug in all of the four connections at the top. Nice and easy, one would hope. Like so. So because I have the uh, the color coding here, my VCC is actually uh, the 3.3 volts. Uh, but I'll put in the ground first, which in my case is the red cable. So I'll plug in the ground and then the 3.3, .3, like so. And then I'll plug in uh, the SCL and the SDA, which is serial data and so, I can't remember the other one. But I'll plug them in to a4 and A5, like so. Once I've done that, I can then go into the Arduino set itself uh, and download the drivers. So you can see on the screen here, uh, the links to the GitHub repository uh, for both the Adafruit SSD um, driver as well as the uh, the GFX libraries as well. So, in order to install the drivers, click on clone and download. Download as a zip. Uh, I'll just put it on the on my desktop for a quick demonstration. Go into sketch, include libraries, and add the zip library. If I go into my desktop, I'll see the one that I've installed, uh, just downloaded rather. Once I click that, you can see at the bottom that the library named Adafruit blah 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 already exists. The reason for that is because I've already installed it. Um, to acknowledge the fact that I've installed the libraries, uh, if you go into, where was it, include libraries, library manager, and you go into install, I scroll down, or scroll up. You can see the two that I've installed here, um, based on where are we today, June uh, 2017. Uh, these are the versions that I've installed. So, once you've done that, you can go into the Arduino. You go to File Examples, and then go to the SSD 1306. For me, I, I don't know why. I've I've actually bought the uh, if I show on the Amazon screen the 128 by 64 but that doesn't work for me I actually have to use the 32 I imagine that's the actual size of the screen um, but I'm using the IC IC sorry I2C version so with this comes a few examples on on how to present that within the screen so if I set up my screen again. Like so. Uh, and if I, so just one thing to note before you do anything, you obviously ensure that the ports assigned to your Arduino and the actual board itself. Uh, I have the programmer ABRSP, not really sure what that is to date. Um, but once that's all been set up, you click download or upload rather. It 
takes a little bit of time. All right, and if you see on the screen itself, with the actual examples that um, that I've just presented, there's a number of little little loops that's out of uh, out of the box, meaning that you know it will go through little displays and how you want to present it. It really depends on uh, on what you want to do with it. But it goes through all the triangles and squares and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it's a good little example on uh, to make sure it all works. All right, guys. That's uh, that's pretty much uh, pretty much how it's all set up. Pretty easy, right? All right, guys. Thanks for your time.